What's going on guys, it's Adonis, and we're talking about Dragon Ball Super Episode 11. So Episode 11 was awesome. Um, some of the big takeaways from this episode, Beerus is training Goku. That's so sick. Um, and it was, I'm not sure if Goku really realized it. Obviously he said it inside of the, um, in, in the subtitles, but it was just dope. Like he's training him to get used to his power so he can actually fight him at full power. Um, so I really liked that idea of the episode, which was sick. Um, but you started seeing Goku throughout the episode, obviously get used to his power. Um, some of the sequences I really enjoyed, Goku's, you know, uh, after image technique was sick. Um, that was probably one of the, the best parts of the episode. It was right at the beginning. Um, then you had Beerus try to, you know, he's knocking Goku back and forth like a ping pong ball. That was dope. Um, and throughout this entire fight, Vegeta hasn't seemed worried at all, which is really strange because you have Gohan, Piccolo, all the Z warriors are inside of Bulma's ship and they all seem to be very, you know, stressed about the fight. But Vegeta's just chilling like, yeah, I see it. I see what's going on. And it's a little strange because we know that he can't sense God Key. However, he doesn't seem like he's worried about Goku. Um, not necessarily that he has to be, but usually, you know, you know, when he fought Beerus the first time and he told him like, yeah, he lost in two hits. You could tell him, you could tell that he had like this stress about him, but now it's like he doesn't. So I wonder if he knows something. Um, so that's, that's definitely something that I'm, I'm thinking about, but I'm not really 100% sure what that is. Um, but I think some of the best parts of the episode was actually towards the end. Um, Beerus started, he actually kind of threatened the earth with his little uh, atom bomb thing, <laughs> if you want to call it. Started kicking around like a hacky sack. Um, threw it at the earth. Goku shot, shot it and destroyed it. Um, but then he got crazy with it and did a whole bunch of them at the same time. And then Goku shot this ridiculous Kamehameha at him, which was sick. Um, and then next thing you know, he got Agent Smith in the stomach and Goku was falling to the, falling to the earth. Um, that was sick because, like I said before, it, it felt like there was something at stake in this episode. Like, it didn't feel just like, eh, he's going to win. It was like, oh, damn, I didn't see this coming at all. And I really like that because it definitely um, separates itself from the movie Battle of Gods. Like, this entire fight, none of it is similar. I think the only thing that's similar is at the end they're in space. But that's it. Like, that's literally the only similarity that I saw. If you guys saw any other similarities, let me know down below. But um, I like that, though. I liked it. And at the end, you know, Goku kind of snapped back out of it and was like, you know what? Let's do it. Let's. I'm ready. I'm ready. And he goes back up. And Vegeta's like, yeah. <laughs> that was just tight. Like, I, I think this next episode that's coming up, episode 12, is going to be a beast of an episode. Um, so... What did you guys think of the episode? I thought it was actually really good. The anim animation was good. The fighting was go uh, good. There wasn't a lot of filler. Um, but what did you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any suggestions for new videos, let me know in the comments below. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Till next time, guys. See you later.